Hi, I'm Roshel Potkar, fictionist and poet, and today I will introduce Arun Kolatkar to you. Many a times millennial poets come to me and want to know more about page poetry. So here it is, talking about Kolatkar, who is a principal element in the canon of Indian English poetry. Kolatkar wrote in Marathi and English. Today we will focus on his English poetry. His first poetry collection, Jejuri, won the Commonwealth Writers' Prize in 1977. When poet Eunice D'Souza asked him where did he find Jejuri from, Kolatkar spoke about reading a book of legends of Maharashtra. Jejuri is a pilgrimage site of the deity Khandoba. The collection in Jejuri may be from a religious setting, but the poems are not religious. In fact, there is a playful inquiry of God. When an interviewer asked Kolatkar whether he believed in God, this is what he had to say. I leave the question alone. I don't think I have to take a position about God one way or the other. I'm going to share five poems from Kolatkar's book. We'll start with a poem from the Jejuri collection. It's called A Low Temple. A low temple keeps its God in the dark. You lend a matchbox to the priest. One by one, the gods come to light. Amused bronze, smiling stone, unsurprised. For a moment, the length of a matchstick, gesture after gesture, revives and dies. Stance after lost stance is found and lost again. Who was that, you ask? The eight-armed goddess, the priest replies. A skeptic, match coughs. You can count, but she has 18, you protest. All the same. She is still an eight-armed goddess to the priest. You come out in the sun and light a Sharminar. Children play on the back of a 20-foot tortoise. Kolatkar was born in Kolapur. He lived in a joint family and once described his nine-room house as a house of cards. This is what he had to say. Five in a row on the ground, topped by three on the first and one on the second floor. An anthology of his works titled Collected Poems in English, edited by Arvind Krishna Merhotra, that I hold in my hands today, was published in Britain in 2010. Of Kolatkar's Kalagora poems, there's one poem that is my favourite that I include in many college poetry workshops. It's called Traffic Lights. I will read Traffic Lights for you today. Fifty phantom motorcyclists, all in black, Crash-helmeted outriders, faceless behind tinted visors, come thundering from one end of the road and go roaring down the other, shattering the petrified silence of the night, like a delirium of rock drills, preceded by a wailing cherry top and followed by a faceless precedent. In a deathly white Mercedes, coming from the airport and going downtown, raising a storm of protest in its wake from angry scraps of paper and dry leaves, but unobserved by the traffic lights that seem to have eyes only for each other, and who, like ill-starred lovers, fated never to meet, but condemned to live forever and ever in each other's sight, continue to send signals to each other throughout the night and burn with the cold passion of rubies separated by an empty street. I find this poem to be a love story in relishing words. There's another poem that has so much of strategic intent that I think it was a perfect poem for today's world of affairs. It's called Ajmel and the Tigers. I'll read that one out for you. Ajmel and the Tigers. The tiger people went to their king and said, we are starving. We had nothing to eat, not a bite, for 15 days and 16 nights. Ajamil has got a new sheep dog. He cramps our style and won't let us get within a mile of meat. That's shocking, said the Tiger King. Why didn't you come to me before? Make preparations for a banquet. I'm gonna teach that sheep dog a lesson he will never forget. Here, here, said the tigers. Careful, said the queen, but he was already gone alone into the darkness before the dawn. In an hour he was back, the good king. 
a black patch on his eye his tail in a sling and said i have got it all planned now that i know the lay of the land all of us will have to try we will outnumber the son of a bitch and this time there will be no hitch because this time i shall be leading the attack quick as lightning the sheep dog was he took them all in as prisoners of war the 50 tigers and the tiger king before they could get their paws on a single sheep they never had a chance the dog was in 51 places all at once he strung them all out in a daisy chain and flung them in front of his boss in one big heap nice dog you got there ajamil said the tiger king looking a little ill and spitting out a tooth but there's been a bit of misunderstanding we could have wiped out your herd in one clean sweep but we were not trying to creep you on your sleep we feel that means are more important than ends we were coming to see you as friends and that's the truth the sheep dog was a type who had never told a lie in his life he was built along simpler lines and he was simply disgusted he kept on making frantic signs but ajamil the good shepherd refused to meet his eyes and pretended to belie every single word of what the tiger king said and seemed to be taken in by all the lies ajamil cut them loose and asked them all to stay for dinner it was an offer the tigers couldn't refuse and after the lamb chops and the roast when ajamil proposed they sign a long term friendship treaty all the tigers roared we couldn't agree with with you more and swore they would be good friends all their lives as they put down the, their forks and their knives ajamil signed a pact with the tiger people and sent them back laden with gifts of sheep leather jackets and balls of wool ajamil wasn't a fool like all good shepherds he knew that even tigers have got to eat sometime a good shepherd sees to it they do he's free to play a flute all day as well fed tigers and fat sheep drink from the same pond with a full stomach for a common bond there is another poem by kolatkar called yashwant rao and i find that very interesting because it's in the jejuri section in the inquiry of god and yet it is a sketch of human with its humanness and humility of purpose so this is the poem yashwant rao are you looking for a god i know a good one his name is yashwant rao and he's one of the best look him up when you are in jejuri next of course he's only a second class god and his place is just outside the main temple outside even of the outer wall as if he belonged among the tradesmen and the lepers i have known gods prettier faced or straighter laced gods who soak you for your gold gods who soak you for your soul gods who make you walk on a bed of burning coal Gods who put a child inside your wife or a knife inside your enemy gods who tell you how to live your life double your money or triple your land holdings gods who can barely suppress a smile as you crawl a mile for them gods who will see you drown if you won't buy them a new crown and although i'm sure they are all to be praised they are either too symmetrical or too theatrical for my taste yashwant rao mass of basalt bright as any post box the shape of protoplasm or a king size lava pie thrown against a wall without an arm a leg or even a single head yashwant rao he is the god you've got to meet if you are short of a limb yashwant rao will lend you a hand and get you back on your feet yashwant rao does nothing spectacular He doesn't promise you the earth or book your seat on the next rocket to heaven. But if any bones are broken, you know he will mend them. He will make you whole in your body and hope your spirit will look after itself. He's merely a kind of a bone setter. The only thing is, as he himself has no heads, hands and feet, he happens to understand you a little better. Arun Kolatkar worked as a graphic designer and visualizer. in many advertising agencies maybe that's why his poems are so infused with imagery i will read the last poem for you which seems to be an interplay of creator with his clay and craft this poem is called 
been working on a statue been working on this statue been working on the statue for close to 40 years it's getting nowhere it's only going from bad to worse an uncooperative half ton of modeling clay has settled in my bathtub and refuses to go away i keep it covered in yards of wet jaguar and hang around its neck a don't touch placard i inaugurate a trade fair pat a child on the head address a meeting but i always return to my work in progress been working on the statue for close to 40 years it ain't coming right it's only going from bad to worse a human figure it isn't yet but that's what i had planned a human figure a nude a man his cock in his hand a statue of a man his measurement same as mine except that i did like to make him a wee bit taller than i am i also expect to make him broader shouldered than i am my tailor's written saying he wouldn't mind been working on the statue for f- close to 40 years it ain't coming right it's only going from bad to worse i peel off a cheek to give some substance to his calf or to deepen his chest but it only makes him laugh i knock off a toe or gouge out an eye to give him a proper nose or to propitiate his thigh i pluck his ear to give him a lump in the throat and i will go to the supreme court to give him his right to vote been working on the statue for close to 40 years it ain't coming right it's only going from bad to worse i always meant to cast it in bronze and give it to the state the state may well decide to put it up in front of india gate or maybe he will be carried coast to coast in a mobile van on display for the benefit of one and all in this poor land or maybe bury it in a pyramid along with my embalmed body with all my concubines eunuchs wives and pots of toddy been working on the statue for close to 40 years it's going from bad to worse and now i'm close to tears to lug it from bathroom to garage is itself going to be a job but i will have to drag the tub to my car and get it to the top i will find a rope and tie the damn thing to the top of my jalopy i will go for a drive to the pier i will drive right on into the sea yeah we'll go for a ride the two of us just him and me we will find out what's what and who's who for one of us can swim thank you friends and see you next time soon with another poet i hope you like the poems we shared today if you have any special comments please do share with us also if you have a request for us to read any other indian english poet do let us know thank you